Goals are things you want to accomplish in life, like living on your own, finishing school, getting a job, or traveling to see the world. Some goals take a long time to reach. Others you can reach right away. It's important to make goals so you have a direction or path in life. Your goals tell you what you want to do and push you to work hard to achieve them. Another word for goal is dream. Dreams usually take a long time to achieve. This is why a dream is a long-term goal. Dreams can be broken down into doable steps that take less time to reach. These smaller steps are called short-term goals. Short-term goals are easier to achieve and move you closer to reaching your dream. Now let's see what you've learned about goals. Let's do the short and long-term goals worksheet in your passport. Pause the video now while you work on this activity. Self-advocacy goals are things you want to learn or achieve through self-advocacy. By making a self-advocacy goal, you work hard to achieve something new and develop your skills. By working on a self-advocacy goal, you'll build your self-confidence as you get closer to reaching your goal. Think of your self-advocacy goal as a project. What do you want to do as a self-advocate? Some examples of self-advocacy goals are Joining a self-advocacy group or advocacy group in the community on an issue that is important to you. Making a presentation to others about why labeling people with disabilities is unfair. Writing a letter to the government about your concerns. Learning about candidates in your area and voting in an election. Teaching your friends how to be a self-advocate. Making a painting, sculpture, or video about your life experiences or about an issue that is important to you. Joining an art, drama, or dance group to make art or performances about an issue that is important to you. Or telling an interesting story about your life to an audience. Now let's try an activity in your passport. Brainstorm My Goals is a worksheet to get you thinking about different activities or projects you want to do as a self-advocate. Pause the video now while you work on this activity. Now that everyone has made a self-advocacy goal, the next step is to make a plan. When you make a plan, you break up your goal into small, doable steps. Think of the different steps as stairs that you need to climb to get to the top. With each step, you get a little closer to reaching your goal. Now it's your turn to plan your goal. Let's do the Plan My Goal worksheet in your passport. Pause the video now while you work on this activity. After you think of the activities you need to do to reach your self-advocacy goal, it's time to put the activities in order. Which activity should you do first, second, and third, etc. Next, it's important to choose a deadline for when you want to finish each activity. By setting deadlines, you can figure out how long it will take for you to reach your goal. Deadlines also keep you focused on working hard until you finish each activity. Let's do the My Goal Prep Worksheet to put your activities in order and set deadlines. Pause the video now while you work on this activity. Now that you've finished this worksheet, you're ready to start working hard on your self-advocacy goal. Excellent work! Use this worksheet to track your self-advocacy goal. Tracking your goal means keeping track of the activities you need to do and the deadlines you have set. Check off each activity when you finish it. Remember to celebrate along the way. Your circle of support will encourage you to keep going. Now you're on your way to reaching your goal. After you've worked hard on your goal, it's important to look back on your experience. Even if you didn't reach your self-advocacy goal, 
it's important to review your experience. You've learned something about yourself that will help you in the future. Remember, you can try again or choose a different self-advocacy goal to work on. Stay positive and keep working hard. Self-advocacy takes practice. Use the Review My Goal worksheet to see what you've learned from the experience. Congratulations! You've finished Unit 6 of My History, Our Future. Next up is Part 2, Speak Up, Speak Out, How to Tell Your Story. It starts with Unit 7, Communication.